Hello, this is Jimmy Blevins. Today I'm going to show you how to add a post slider to your web page using the Divi Visual Builder. So let's go ahead and add in our post slider. And then all the elements will pop up and it'll automatically populate with every blog post that you have. So I've got it a category just featured image. These are just posts that have a featured image to them. And the post number, you can limit it to a certain amount. I think I've only got four or five in there, so I'm not going to limit that. So this show arrows option, if I mouse over the picture, you'll see there's these arrows that pop up and I can turn that on and off. The controls turns on and off the dots there at the bottom of the image. And then the read more button, I can turn that on and off as well. And I can also customize text for the button too if I want. This option allows me to show just an excerpt of the con content or the entire content itself. Um, if I put it on show content it just makes the picture huge and puts all of the content on it. So if I really want to show off my pictures and my text that's a great way to do it. But I think I'll go back to just using the excerpt. The excerpt length is here. I can knock that down or Say I wanted just 200 words, and it'll automatically show me what that looks like with 200 words on it. Um, the post meta is all this information up here, the date, the author, what category it's in. So I can turn that on and off if I want to. Um, if there isn't a featured image, I can have it default to a background color, which I'll show you if I turn off the featured image option, it'll show you the default background color, which I think it just defaults to your theme your main theme color. So you can change that, turn that on and off if you want as well. You do have the option to do parallax effect and where to put the image. So we can put the image to the left, to the right, just to kind of show off our content a little bit more. A lot of great options in this slider. So we've got a text overlay option, and this is if I want to make the text stand out just a little bit more by darkening this background. I can also change the background overlay color. You'll notice that if I turn the background overlay on and off, the picture gets a little bit brighter. And I can play around with that if I want. Let's say I don't want to use a text overlay, so I can change it. And adjust the transparency here with the slider on the right. So you can see I can really fade the picture out so that the text is a lot easier to read. Um, there's an inner shadow. With the color I've, I've shown, it doesn't really show that much. But this is so you can turn this on and off. Um, I can also change the background image position. I think default is just center, center. Um, but I can change that around any way that I want to. And I can also make it fit inside the dimensions here, or I can make it fill up with actual size. So jumping into the design elements, here I can mess with pretty much anything that you see on the screen. I can change the top padding, and that's going to be the area up here, or the bottom padding, and this is the area below. I can hide the content, our call to action, or the image on a mobile device. I can do an overlay border radius. And I can also customize the color of the arrows and the dots. So just to show you what that looks like, I'm going to make them a paint color. And then you can see the, the buttons are pink and now the arrows are pink as well. I can change the font of the header and I can also adjust the size. Maybe I've got a bunch of long titles and I want them to fit in one line, I can make that a little bit smaller. And then of course I also have the same options with the body font. I can make that bigger or smaller if I want to. I can change the text color and then the meta font. This is what I turned off in the other options which is you know the author, the date, all that. I can change the size and the color as well with that. And this is where I can use custom styles for the button, which is this read my post button right here. So you can play around with that. Of course, that gives you all of your custom 
styles for your button too. So a lot of great ways to really customize this and make it look good on your website. I'm really happy with this module and I plan on using it quite a bit in my, in my future websites as well. So that covers everything with the post slider. Once again, my name is Jimmy Blevins and thank you so much for watching.